Right, what I want to do in this video is just have a quick look at this unit here. This is the power supply for the hard disk. Um, because there's a bit of a question over all of these um, items, um, you know, there's reports of things blowing up, I just want to take the lid off everything, um, double check it um, just from a visual point of view, check make sure there's no caps bulging out or anything that looks particularly bad or dangerous before I plug it in. Um, so as I said, this is the power supply for the hard disk. It's uh, interesting it's dated 1984. Um, the hard disk is dated 1989, so there's a big discrepancy there. A voltage selection switch there with a cover on it, so that's permanently set to 24 volts. On this side, we've got uh, the, all the connectors that go out to the, the hard disk. We've got the mains input, which is not really securely con um, strapped in there. Power on off switch, uh, a remote and local switch, and some voltage adjustments. Looks like we've got uh, plus minus 12 volts and a 5 volts. Uh, looks like there's an alarm light there as well, actually. Uh, and these look like fuses. A few cobwebs in here. Big heat sink. Lots of relays. Let's just turn this around. And we have a huge big transformer. That's why it's heavy. Uh, and lots of cobwebs. I hope there's no spiders in this. I don't like spiders very much. So, uh, primary side, so I can't see the secondary side, but that's going to be on the other side there. Um, mains input coming in. Now these two things here, they're normally one's the switch and one's a circuit breaker which just trips the switch. Um, then we have the output fuses, input noise filter, a bulk storage cap just there, can't quite see the voltage on that. Right, just looking around this, um, everything looks to be in order, I can't really see anything that's untoward. There's no, uh, there's no hot spots on the PCB or anything. Um, all the connections look good. Um, yeah, I can't see really any issue with this at all until I plug it in. Okay, I'm not going to go any further. I'm not going to take the PCB off because it looks well screwed in there. Um, just feeling the screws on where the PCB is mounted, they are, they are slightly rough. Um, on, um, given this is Japanese made, um, all the screws will either be Phillips or um, JIS. Now if you use a, Phillip, a posi drive screwdriver on a Phillips, it tends to round it off and you get a, a rough uh, profile on it and that's usually a good way to tell if somebody's been in before and th they are slightly, there is some slightly um, raised sharp edges on those screws so I suspect that has been out at some point by somebody. 